Hello and welcome to my very first tutorial and that's what we're going to do. Right, um, you can achieve this effect in a few different ways. Um, basically you can use the timer mapping, but believe me it's really uh, time wasting. And in the end you'll find out that you won't be able to change anything in what you did. First of all, you need to follow the preset link and download the file and extract it to After Effects preset folder. You can also download this second link and that's sound effect which I use in this tutorial. Now go to the effect and preset toolbar and type in spy. You should find the spy effect and spy footage. Now create a new comp, we'll call it spy, 1080p, 25 frames, press OK. Drag and drop your sound effect first, then the footage. First of all, um, you need to pre-compose our footage. Control shift c we'll call it footage. Make sure it's spelled right, because the our expression will use this name. Move all attributes, OK. Do the same for your sound effect, Control shift c we'll call it effects. Make sure it's also move all attributes. Uh, just because our sound file is really short and by pressing OK we'll make extend it to full length. Now we're ready to apply our effects but before you do that make sure your timeline is set to zero and drag and drop our spy footage preset onto the footage and the spy effect onto this effect comp. Now double click effects and make a new adjustment layer. We will call it exposure. Find the exposure effect. Drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Press stopwatch on exposure. Pass one frame. Make it minus 15 pass another few frames and make it nil again. Right, go back to the spy comp. Now make sure you that you'll collapse the layer by checking this box. This will me uh, and this will make our adjustment layer visible in this comp. So Everything is set up and we can start our work. The expression I wrote works with the markers, so you need just to take a marker and drag it to the timeline to the position where you want effect to be applied. And the preset will do the rest for you. Another way how you can apply the marker is just to select the time and press star on your numpad. Right, we'll do another one. And that's it. You can play animation now, it should work fine. Okay, there is one option you can play with. If you click our footage, you'll find this stop time option here. It's now set to one second. You can actually put... You can set it to a shorter or longer time, but if the stop time will be set to longer than the time between any of your markers, you'll find your comp will act as the slideshow, which you can use for purpose. We'll make a new solid, make it black, select ellipse tool, double click on it, set mask to subtract, press F and feather it. That's fine. We'll make a new adjustment layer. Call it Save Frame. Select the Retriangle tool. Now select this area. Oops, that's wrong. Again, select 
adjustment layer make the mask like that now select lips tool find the center and best thing for it to switch on our safe frame click in the center drag press control shift and release now lock the lock those masks select vector tool and make a line now we need to find stroke effect and apply it onto our adjustment layer size 6 make sure all masks selected press T and make opacity 50% right that looks fine another thing you can do make another adjustment layer we'll call it blur find blur effect fast blur drag and drop blur it a little bit and mask this circle right now put this adjustment layer under our safe frame and that's it here's the result okay that looks fine for me by the way um, there is unlimited number of opportunities where you can use those presets separately they can be applied on any repeatable event like lighting, explosion, gunshots. I hope you liked this tutorial and it will be useful for you. My name is Sergey and see you later.